good afternoon to you my faves welcome back to my youtube channel if it's for the very first time that you are tuning in and you're asking yourself well, who is this guy who is this homie who is this personality my name is tabang Tseko. i am also on instagram by the name tabang underscore Tseko. i would like to welcome all the new faves into the family thank you so much for clicking on that subscribe button hope you enjoy and stay forever to my number ones to my vips thank you so much for sticking with this channel and actually support it i see all your efforts i am because of you guys welcome to um q a session get to know me conversation with tabang it's another wednesday and we are here we are camping here today you will be knowing exactly what i do who is tabang behind the scenes what do i do for a living how did i grow up and so forth so i've asked you guys to send me your questions on the community tab and child you did send your questions and i love that for us we're gonna get to know me today so without any waste of time guys let us go straight into the questions because they are actually a lot hope you guys are good hope you guys are doing fabulous all right so now um this is how it's gonna work right I would like to divulge deep into your questions. I get to sharper into into the surface. So if maybe the video is too long, maybe we'll do a part two. But we'll just see. give my aim. Without any waste of time, guys, let us get straight um, into into your questions. So question number one: Are you ready? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Fave. As you assess yourself in adulthood, please share three best traits about yourself that has never changed since you were young. Hmm. Three best uh, character traits. I am very generous. I am very kind. But above all, I am very compassionate. Guys, can I look at what to to such a point? Yeah, I don't know if maybe it's because I went through a lot. So since from a young age, I had mentioned that I was bullied um, from a very young age. So to 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 be compassionate, it was a character trait that I've learned from a very young from a very young age. So I try by all means to what to walk in their shoes at all given times. That's why it is not so nice to judge people by just looking at them. Try walking a mile in somebody else's shoes and then you'll see Horim. So I'm very generous, kind, and compassionate. I hope I've answered you my favor. Moving to question number two. How are you mentally? Hmm. How am I mentally? Where do I begin with this one? For a very long time, for a very long time, I have tried to conceal the hurt in me. For a very long time, I have tried to conceal the misfortunes that I've went through. And at that time, how now will you be okay mentally? You will never be okay mentally. But the, the more I grew up, the more I, I, I was getting older, I began to, 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 to deal with my mental state. Hore Tabang, this is your life and you need to deal with this. So I would say from a very young age, I was not okay mentally. But I've learned to deal with my mental state about my misfortunes, about adversity, my adversity, about each and every negative thing that happened in, in my life. I've learned to deal with it. And as a 31-year-old, I would say that 
I'm okay. But it will also be good to talk or to go back just to heal the scars that I've been through because they will always be with me. Whatever that you go through, it will always be with you. So for now, I'm okay mentally, but I am not sure about the 16-year-old Tabang, the 15-year-old Tabang, the 13-year-old Tabang going to class. I am not sure about that, but it's something that I think I need to deal with. But mentally now, my fave, I am okay. I am positive. I am optimistic. I am all sorts of beautiful things. Hope I've answered you. Moving right along. Hmm. Ooh, this one. How many exes do you have? How many exes do you have? How many exes do I have? Guys, it's been a long time. But I've been with Funi for, for a very long time. I don't even... Do I really have to count? It's... I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure, but there are not many. There are not many. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't recall, but let us move right along. I'll go to, I'll continue with your question. And how did you meet Funui? His full name, please, Funaki or Fundi? <laughs> guys, Funui is actually a vendor word, which uh, means mufunwa in which it's mufunwa in full mufunwa meaning my love so we would call each other bomufunwa bomufunwa but then it was too long and then just this one day when we were sitting funi was like funi like oh okay i like that short word from uh, mufunwa so no his real name is not funi his real name is muraka beni that's his full name, Muraga Beni. Funi is just a word of endearment that we use, um, Rona, really, too. He's my Funi, and I am his Funi, my love. I hope I've, I've answered you, my favor. Um, I hope I've answered you. And a lot of people, um, even outside um, YouTube, they were, my friends will say, what does Funi mean? Is it his other names? Like, no, guys, just a word of endearment. Funui. Mm, I love that for us. Moving right along. All right. Hey, my fave, how are you genuinely? I think I have answered that one that now I, I am okay. I've dealt with my mental state, but I would really love to go back to the 16-year-old Tabang just to deal with whatever that I I, I went through when I was when, when I was younger because the scars will always be there. Um, so it will be up to me if I deal with them or not. But now my faith mentally, I am okay. All right. My question is, how did the rents, the parents, how did the parents feel when you first told them you were moving in with your partner? Guys, me moving in with my partner, it was an automatic thing. We never planned for it to happen. Um, we never planned for us to move in together. We never actually sat down and say, um, Funui, in three months' time, I think it's time for us to move in together and do Lodzeo. No, it happened automatically because I remember um, when we met, he moved where he was living at and then he about how to, he wanted to be to be closer to me so he moved from there where he was living and then at uh, to the site that I was living I was still living at home um, back then and then he got a place around that area so each and every day I would be at his place 24/7 I would be there my sister was like yo I when are you even living with us anymore I was like I don't know I'll just see. So that's how it happened. And autom when when the months went by, um, three months into our relationship, I just found myself, my whole wardrobe was there. My whole wardrobe was there. And we never discussed how I am officially moving in. No, it just happened automatically. And then moving on from there, going forward, we planned everything together. That's how we got to, to live together up until today. <laughs> Hope I've answered you, my favor. 
All right, so moving right along. Do you have any siblings? How old are you? Um, I think I've also answered this one. How are you actually? I'm okay, my faith. I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Hope you're also good. Do you have any siblings? Yes. Believe it or not, I'm the last born. So my mom has five children. Um, so I've got four older sisters and I'm, I'm the only boy. So first born, we are mama. She's 56. Second born, she's 54, 53, if I'm not mistaken. The third born is 50. Um, the fourth born was turning 43 um, on the 16th of September, um, this past Saturday. And then I'm, I'm the last born, the fifth one. I am 31 years of age. So yes, my fave, I've got four older sisters before me and I'm the last born. Hmm. All right. What is the next question is, what is the motto? What is the code or motto you live by? Oh, my faith, I love this question so much. When I saw it, it actually hit home. I love this question so much. The, the, the motto that I, I live by is, do unto others what you would like them to do unto you. It's a motto. Get what I'm saying? Do unto others what you would like them to do unto you. It's a batu. I hope I'm making sense, guys. Don't expect people to do things that you are not ready to do for them in simple terms. Can I repeat that? Don't expect people to do things for you that you are not you are what? You are not ready to do for them. Let me make it and let me make an example. Um, I'm one person who, who, who loves coffee and tea. Ne? I can't expect every time, but not ready to, you understand? So it must be a two way street. I make you tea. You also make me tea. You understand? So that's the code that I, I live by ever since I was young, ever since I was young. That's the quote. I love this question so much, my faith. Thank you so much for, for asking it. And I hope that you also do what you want people to do for you. In relationships, at a workplace, it can be anywhere. Don't expect people to do things for you when I also redo by it. That's all. Moving right along. Do you have siblings? Um, yes, my faith. I've, I've answered this one. I've got four older sisters. Hi, Faith. What kind of work do you do and how old are you? Okay, I'm 31 years of age, my Faith. And the kind of work that I do, my primary work um, is that I'm a supervisor for an e-commerce company. Um, that's my prim primary work. That's my primary income. The way my source of income comes, the primary one, ne, my nine to five. I'm a supervisor for an e-commerce company. My duties are, but not limited to, I'm um, liaising with international companies. Um, your China, your Turkey, and, 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 and etc. So, yeah, that's my primary work. That's my, my nine to five. I'm a supervisor, my faith. Moving right along. Next question. Hope I've answered you in, 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 in detail, my faith. Hi, faith. You keep talking, <laughs> you keep talking about seeing a client. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> I was gonna, <laughs> I know, I knew exactly that this one, you're gonna ask it, my faith, and I like it for us. <laughs> what kind, okay. You keep talking about seeing a client. What kind of work or industry are you in? Okay, guys, um, I have said that I'm a supervisor for an e-commerce company. That's my primary job. And then when you hear me talking about seeing a client, going to a client or meeting up with a client and so forth, I'm a part-time interior designer. 
So most of the time they would want my services in terms of how to put in their furniture, which furniture to buy, the color schemes, the curtains, the couches, and so forth. So that's what I do. No, I didn't study interior designing. It is something that I've developed. Um, the love that I've developed for, for it, just to an eye for things that peculiar eye to, to 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 see things in a different way and then i i took it and then i've turned it into a business and it's working very well for me but it's not something that i do full time it's something that i do part time i hope i've answered you my faith satisfied mm. all right where oh excuse me where and when did you meet your partner so i've been with my partner for for five years now retwara six years on the 14th of february 2024 so it's been five years since we are together um we met at spa because he was working for a promotions company back then um and the company was around so we met at spa that's where we first saw each other and the rest is history five years later we are here Uh, moving right along mm. now it's getting tricky it's getting very tense are you ready for this one what are your aspiration about your youtube journey mm. fave kasi tswana uipona uli kukai ka channel ya kha khotsa u batla khufitlela in can i repeat that question my faves I love this question so much because um, there are actually a lot of um, upcoming YouTubers like myself um, on my channel. So we need to answer this one very delicately so that people can understand, people can be motivated and inspired. Thank you so much for um, asking this question, my fave. Big ups to you. Can I repeat the question again? What are your aspirations with your YouTube journey? Fave, kasetswana uipona ule kokai ka channel ya khotsa. Guys, in my previous vlog, I don't know if most of you have watched my previous vlog, but I believe that you did. I was talking about how this time it's my third attempt being on YouTube. This is actually not my first time being on YouTube. It's my third attempt. I but The first attempt was in 2018. My first attempt was in 2018. And then it failed dismally. And it failed because it wanted me to take out money out of my pocket to, to fund the project and whatnot. Because the project that I was doing, it was a Be a Blessing to Someone Metric Dance campaign. Whereby we, I got a production company and, and, and everything. Yes, they did that pro bono. But in terms of the production costs, the, pre, the petrol and so forth, it wanted me to to take out money out of my pocket and i was not yet um financially stable in terms of of that um project for it it's a label so it failed dismally because of that so that was my first attempt my second attempt was in 20 uh, uh, first attempt was in 2017 if i'm not mistaken second attempt was in 2019 and then in 2019 2020 it was it was 2020 that because i remember the second time i abandoned the project because i had lost my job yes i think yeah it was 2020 i had lost my job and aband abandoned it and then fast forward 2023 i i restarted everything and then this is me back for the third time okay the question i want to ask i wanted to give you a, a just a little bit of a brief of where i come from in in, in terms of youtube so that my fave. so what are my aspirations about youtube guys and i'm talking to the upcoming youtubers now i'm talking to you my fave, if you have a channel and so forth my aspiration I actually wanted to make it a business. I wanted it to be some sort of like a job for me, a job that will sustain me, a side hustle that will sustain me in terms of 
um yes charity is also in, in 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 it was in the plan because you know that when you are monetized on youtube you get paid and so forth so my main reason was for me to create an opportunity for myself to be on youtube so that i can get paid but above all my aspiration about starting a youtube channel was to inspire was to motivate was to heal people through the screen i'm not sure if i make any sense okay my main aspiration about opening a youtube channel again was for me to inspire was for me to motivate a black child out of that pit to let them know what it is possible it can happen for you as well you understand but at the same time i treat it as a business i treat it as a job so that it can what it can also sustain me in terms of in terms of revenue and guys if you're an upcoming youtuber or or, or you are a youtuber currently please do your research don't depend on other channels hurry get alibella channels these channels and then i will incorporate or i will copy what people are already doing no make your research do your research it can be your basic research, guys. What is it that you want to do on your YouTube channel? What kind of a niche do you want to, 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 to venture into? It's very important. It's very important to know the kind of nature that you want to do or the kind of um, niche you want to do on YouTube. So it is very important to do your research so that even when you fumble or even when you um authority challenges, or maybe let me put it like this. If whatever that you are researching, you are not getting an answer, you can have that sebete sao yako tabang and ask or tabang, how do I do this? But it must start with you first. You must do your research first before you can ask for the advice from other YouTubers. You know, I'm here for you guys. I always answer, answer your DMs about YouTube and so forth. But please, before you go and ask for advices and whatnot, do your research and you'll go far. So my faith, I hope I've answered your question. I'm moving right along. Hope you guys are still good. Listen, Alina, are you still with me? <laughs> okay. Yay! Guys, actually, I wanted to share with you a, a story. You know, be at my stories, guys. I actually wanted to share a story. Um, that question area, what do I do for a living? What kind of work do I do? Guys, it was back in, let me just briefly, my faves. I just want to in, motivate and encourage someone that black child, it is possible for you. Utlods were in that pit that you are in, the dark, dark pit that you are in. You, 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 you. Bonaman. It was back in 2013. 20, this was the after the APM story, the after that bus line story. It was 2014. 20, 2015. Yes, it was 2015. Ah, the post was Metropolis. They were advertised. They were looking for thousand and thousand for trainees to join the Metropolis. Don't do child. Did I not apply? I applied my faves. I applied. Me after applying, I got the, the SMS that I should come for for tr not training. The by by and to Ella where they test if you are fit and whatnot. Because I remember it was done in Pretoria West. I'm not sure if it's showgrounds or or what, but it, it can be showgrounds. But it was in Pretoria West. I can't remember exactly. I I went to be like Yahopola. My sister accompanied accompanied me that day. <laughs> the one of the criteria was for you to run. And then they give you time. If Oceana and then you go into the gate while it's still open, you move to the next stage. I think most of you went through that. Um thing if you applied for you you would know what i'm talking about if if you had applied for that metropolis thingy yes i've been there my faves i went my sister i remember she took leave and then i i will accompany you to to go to that whatever thing you had metropolis okay when we got there there were so many of us 
it was still in those darkest times of my life where I was, I was depressed, nothing was working out for me. And, and I had hoped that this time around, God will hear my cry. I will become a metropolis. Nahan! <laughs> Little did I know, my friends. I get a whole Hashem. Okay. Tornavale, they are giving us instructions and whatnot. We are there. There were so many of us. They were giving us instructions. You have to run for five minutes. If the gate closes on you, uluzite, it's game over for you. But if you go through the gate within the time, um, you move on to the next um, stage and whatnot. Then the last stage was the interview. I was very optimistic. My face, I'm, I'm a very positive person. In whatever that I do, in whatever project that I do, I'm an optimistic person. I am a, I'm very positive that everything will work out. So like this one, I was positive. I was with my sister. I, I'm going to run, sis. It don't matter. It don't matter. I'm going to get this job. Remember, it was the after the APM saga. Guys, I remember it was hot. It was 34 degrees outside. Let's add in Nahana Omata. 12 midday. 12 midday. We never matter on Mot 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 Ile. Yeah, dust. It was so dusty. But I kept on saying to myself, I'm going to run and I'm going to go through that gate. They, that gate is my ticket for a better life. Hey, my faves, I ran. I ran the dust. The dust. Ki inhaler dust. Because there are many of us, you know that when people are running real bangata, there's just that kup kup. Kasi soto rati kup kup. I kup uza kup kup. I kup uza. Rashiana, rashiana, rashiana. I remember I was a few meters away from the gate. Palaya layer. The gate closed on us. I remember one guy collapsed um, in front of me. Collapsed. Ki! A collapse because of the dust, because of the heat, because of the exhaustion, because of the dehydration. I was traumatized. Guys, <laughs> okay, I made peace with that. The gate has closed on me. It was lazy gate, guys. I don't want to prolong this. I want to go back to the questions. It was lazy gate. So now, high quality, you know it's game over for you. You have to go back home. I remember my sister just coming and saying, "Hi, hotla look, I'm gonna go high. Let's go back home." I couldn't feel my, 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 my feet. My feet were so numb, guys. Were so numb, I couldn't feel my feet. My feet, I remember my sister, Antera, Antwara, so, and just putting me back into the car. I got robbed like a bad arm, I'm back seat. We are driving back home. But I could feel that my body is not okay, man, along the way. My sister was like, you are so quiet. What's wrong? I was like, I'm very exhausted and dehydrated. I don't know. I understand. Rafi Kano. I could feel that my body is going through changes, man. I, I was so concerned. Oh, hey, guys, am I going to recover after this? My sister was park. It's time for us to go back in the house. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my feet. Guys. I'm struggling to get out of the car. Guys, what is happening to me? My sister, oh my God, or how tabang? What's the problem now? I, I literally, I started crawling. Tears came, dropped like this. I started crying. Oh my God. I am back here again. I am crawling back inside the house. It's immediately right, Dimo, thinking that I am going for a job op opportunity, but I am coming back as a cripple. I'm coming back without feeling my... Guys, I remember I was... Let me actually call my sister, because maybe most of you would say that I'm making up these stories. Guys, I am not making up these stories. Let me quickly call my sister so that she can confirm. Hey, I hope she answers her call, the phone. Let me call her. I want... It's ringing. Oh, it's ringing. Oh, answer. Hello. Hi, ma'am. Okay. Kite Hey, okay. Kite. my faves here about that um interview at the Metropolis. Why, who pull up? Can I writing? Can I writing? Naku, we live for interview. Hey, Kishiana, what happened? 
So Nekiva or Uba or confirm my faves because Kiabajo is a incident. I'll call you after this. So guys, you see, it's real stories. That's what I've been through, my faves. So I just wanted to to make you laugh a little bit and just to ease you that everything will be okay, my faves. Don't worry. So let us move on to, to the next question. Okay, basically what my sister was saying, when we got home, he, she opened the gate and then he, she saw me crawling back inside the house. She was laughing at that moment, ne? but she couldn't understand what's happening. She was so hurt, my faves. That laugh was not actually her laughing. She was so hurt because she saw that I was crying. I was crawling back inside the house. Guys, it took me two days to recover from that incident. Two full days. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. I inhaled so much dust. I overworked my legs and so forth. So my faves, we go through a lot. Life is tough, but we soldier on. We don't ever think that because things are not moving for you or things are not working out that you would want to kill yourself or you would think of suicide to, to, to be suicidal and whatnot. Guys, no, don't. Instead, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Be strengthened because whatever doesn't kill you will only make, make you stronger. Look at me today. I am not where I want to be in life, but look at me. I am here. I'm narrating the story of what happened, guys. Anyway, let us move right along. All right. Next question. I have a few. I have a few, my faith. Because I know you like to travel. I'll start with this one. Where is the coolest place you've ever traveled to? Cape Town will always be our number one coolest destination, vacation destination um, within South Africa. We haven't traveled out of South Africa first because we told ourselves that we want to start um, within the borders of, of South Africa. So Cape Town takes number one, um, cap my fave. Second one, what is your best childhood memory? The best childhood memory was um, I, as much as I was bullied, um the best memory that i have was the love of my mother my mom my mom has so much love and it concealed everything i was going through at that time so every time i'm a 31 year old now today but i can still think of how my mom loved me so dearly my mom was there for me every step of the way so that's the best childhood memory that i have my mother's love guys it's out of this world it concealed everything that i went through Number three, what is something that makes you smile? Hmm, thought provoking. What, um, something that makes me smile, knowing that I have helped someone to be a better version of themselves. Knowing that I've contributed to someone being a better version, version of themselves. That always makes me smile, guys. Always. Moving right along. Thank you for that question, my fave. Um, we're moving right along. Okay, this one it says, Hello, my fave. I might be slightly offish, Mfundini. Can you recommend two or three affordable, nice, decent suburbs areas to live in Pretoria? Outside CBD, Acadia, and Sunnyside. Manifesting my next job there. 
Enkosi, man, with your inspiring words from time to time, it is it is a pleasure, my faith. Like I've said, that inspiring, inspiring you and motivating you will always make um, my heart to smile. Will always put a smile on my face. Thank you so much, my faith. It is a pleasure. Um, two of two or three affordable places to live in outside CBD. I would say Pretoria, no, but it depends with your budget, guys. <laughs> It depends with your budget because my affordable is not your affordable. Your affordable might not be my affordable. You understand? But just for argument's sake, I would say Pretoria North. Pretoria North, your Nina Park, your Montana, just the whole of Pretoria North. That's number one. And then the second one, it's Pretoria West. I don't like Pretoria West, but there are decent places that are affordable there. So yeah, Pretoria North and Pretoria West. But Pretoria North takes the cup. Um, next one. Okay, my favorite taban. Now I would really love if you can tell us how did you grow up? How did your mom and dad raise you and your sisters and brothers? I don't have any brother, only sisters. Um, and wasn't difficult was it difficult for the family who Amohela Tabang? Never. If, if there's one thing that I've never struggled with about my sexuality is my family um, accepting me for who I am. From, from a very young age, they would see that Tabang is like this. Um, Tabang is attracted to guys. Tabang is, is whatnot. I, I've never struggled with that, even today. Um, so in terms of that, the, for them to accept me was automatic. I've never went through challenges and we bless the Lord in terms of that because I know a lot of people um, go through a lot with their families in terms of um, accepting them in terms of their sexuality. So I've never had that that challenge. And um, how did I grow up? Okay, apart from the negative side of growing up, of being, and like I've said, I've, I've had a very nice growing up. Although we didn't have everything. We didn't have everything, but we, we had the basics. We didn't go to bed hungry. Um, we, my mom tried so hard because my mom was a domestic worker. My mom tried so hard to fend for us, to feed us, to make sure that we have each and everything that we need. Not necessarily want, because sometimes the things that you want, it's a it's, it's luxury. But she made sure that whatever that we needed at that time, she provides for us. So I had a very nice upbringing. My mom's love just concealed everything that was happening around us, around our life, our life of leg and so forth. You know that they always say love conquers all. Hope I've answered you my faith. Let's move right along. <laughs> Next one. This might be a loaded question, but are you anywhere close to where you wanted to be as a child, not even a quarter. Not even a quarter. I am, we are not where we want to be, but we bless the Lord, Gahori, where we are now. Yes, my faith, we are not where we want to be, but we bless the Lord because we are living. Um, we can afford the things that we can afford. If we don't afford, we bless the Lord. So we still have to work three times harder to be where we actually want to be. And it's a it's a job, it's a work in progress. Hope I've answered you, my faith. Next one, guys, the questions are so many and this um, sit down is gonna be so long. I don't know if we should, I, I'm like, I'm not sure guys, should we do a longer vlog, uh, a longer video or should we do a part two? Oh gosh, I so wish that this video was live, was recorded in real time so that we can engage and just get to to you know but let us try to push and then we'll see where we get with the questions agreed okay all right <clears throat> next question um my question is you got triggered about that bullying experience you got from school how did you deal with that trauma then and how are you dealing with it now? Did you perhaps go to a therapy? Like I said, my faves, now I'm okay mentally, but I still need to deal with the 16-year-old Taban going down because there are scars that I haven't de dealt with. At that time, I didn't know how to deal with the trauma because I was still confused. I didn't know what to do. So I just took life as it is. 
but um now i'm okay i just need i think i need to go back and deal with that and i think no i haven't gone to therapy yet and i was thinking very hard about it i think it's it's necessary for me to go to a therapy just to offload just to talk about my past experiences so that i can be i can also be a better version of myself my babe all right moving right along okay hi my fave i would like to know what's your nine to five i've already um answered this one but let me answer your next question which is what is it that you studied for okay after metric i took a gap year and then after taking a gap year i went to intech college to do a diploma in logistics and supply chain management but because of financial constraints i couldn't finish my diploma it's still hanging so yeah that's me right now that's me right now moving right along hello tabang warm greetings from namibia do you trust your partner 100 percent and this is a topic for another day because I, I would want to divulge deep into it um on the surface i trust my partner 100 percent, but it's a topic for another day as to why i am saying that moving right along how do you plan your vacation okay we have a 12 months plan in terms of our vacation um we have your december vacation of which we invest too much money in it because <clears throat> it's your end uh, end of the year vacation so we invest too much in it for the, the december vacation uh we also have a mid-year vacation a mid-year vacation yes we plan for it as well because it's a 12 months um planning vacation planning so we have two major vacations and then we have your birthday vacations which is um a vacation on in january on my birthday and then in june it's for me's birthday so meaning that mid-year we travel twice in we do our mid-year vacation we also do for vacation so we have four major vacations in a year and then the small ones where if we we have extra money if maybe we did extra jobs we would go for three nights four nights um yeah but we have four um what you call four major vacations in a year and would like to expand that but expanding it it means that we must work two times harder so that we and we we, we we afford um to travel often so yeah moving right on guys I'm, I'm i'm now rushing these questions because i want to fit them all in one video okay what <clears throat> next question what are your money saving tips if you can't afford it don't buy it on credit if you can't afford it don't buy it on credit and it doesn't mean if you can you qualify for something it doesn't mean that you can afford it you can qualify but affordability plays a major role so that's the things that we move away from in terms of us to live a better life in terms of us to live within our our means so if we can't afford something to buy it now we don't buy it on credit you've seen in my previous vlog uh, me talking about cutting two cut three cuts one credit card and two clothing stores account cuts so yes we are moving away from that um in terms of for us to what to always make sure that we live within our means okay what motivated you to start your youtube channel i think i've already answered this one um what are my aspirations and whatnot this is actually my third attempt on youtube and the inspiration and or motivation behind it was just to um, create an opportunity for myself in terms of revenue but above all just to motivate inspire and just to take someone out of the dark pits that they are in and just to calm them down that it is possible for you and you will make it you will make it god will also do it for you but besides that i was creating an opportunity for myself so that we can what we can benefit from the monetization of of youtube we are treating it as a business it is a job and you it's my job youtube is my job it's my employment and you my faves 
you are my bosses that's why you always say please don't skip the ads um and and so forth that's why i appreciate each and every one of you guys because this is a job for us uh we motivate you we inspire you and in return you watch the ads so that we can all benefit simple moving right along okay how do you want to be remembered in life Hmm. How do I want to be remembered in life? I would want to be remembered as this bubbly, um, generous, kind, and compassionate human being that tried to, to be positive against all odds. That's me, guys. I always try to look for the positive in, ev in every negative. So that's how I want to be reminded. As kind, generous, compassionate, beating to be and beating and just waking against all odds. I hope I'm making sense, guys. <laughs> Who would you like to connect or reconnect with and why? I, I Most of you had maybe uh, realized that I don't speak too much of my dad because I don't know who my dad is, right? I've never met my real biological father. The dad that I grew up with was actually my stepfather and when he passed on, that's when I've learned that he was my stepfather and so forth. So, I would want to connect with my real biological dad because according to my mom, we moved away from him when I was five months old um, and went back home in Sharpville. So that was the last time I was in contact with my dad when I was my five months old. I would like just to, to reconnect with him, just to know the DNA of, 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 of na. Nah who am i you understand not necessarily saying that i want money or anything of that sort no i can do those things for myself i don't but just to know the real me you understand so i would like to connect with my father guys and if he's watching so yeah <laughs> okay when was the last time you extended kindness to someone to my partner each and every day we extend kindness towards each other because we are forever together we do everything together so the first point of contact is him and he's the one who will always um receive my kindness because we live together and do everything together yes and then the second um uh, the second when was the last time okay let me let me just leave it at that because it was my partner it was fun moving right along your story about unemployment was so inspiring let's work hakala with your partner any plans to have kids because you have such a loving rela a relationship definitely my favorite kids are part of the our plan future plans but we haven't saved enough money yet just to to venture into to make that reality a to make that plan a reality we haven't saved enough but definitely would want to have kids one day uh, we are still young we are 32 31 years of age so definitely kids are in the pipeline my fave thank you so much for asking um okay not a question just a statement i love you your vlogs soothes me shim you have grown to become one of my huge favorite youtubers Please don't lose the consistency even when your channel grows. Sana, I won't take my word for it. As I've said that, we treat YouTube as a job. We treat YouTube as a business. So it means if I, I, I become inconsistent, it means that I'm also killing myself. You understand? Because what happens to you if you don't go to your job on a daily basis? Month end, you don't get your money. You don't get what's due to you. So I will forever be consistent, my faith. We will be here. We will be camping here on a Wednesday and on, and on a Sunday, delivering best quality content. Hope I've answered you, my faith. <laughs> I'm going nowhere. All right. Next question. What keeps you going? Or should I say, what's your biggest inspiration that drives you to never give up? Hope. Hope is what drives me to never give up because I know if God can do it for my neighbor, he will also do it for me. That's what makes me to sleep better at night. If it is possible for someone else, then I am also as special as that person. You understand? That what, that's what gives me courage that one day 
hotaloka because mudimu ore rataka ufela. God loves us all. And we are benef we are all his his beneficiaries of his blessings. Moving right along, my friends. Hey, Faith. My question is, how are you and what helps you to be the best version of, of you? I'm, I'm okay, my Faith. I'm okay. I think I've answered this one. Um, I'm okay. And what helps you to be the best version of yourself? Just being the positive, generous, kind, and compassionate me, it helps me to be the best version of myself, knowing that I've helped someone to become knowing that I've helped someone to become a better version of themselves, it also makes me to be a better version of myself. I sleep better at night knowing that I've helped someone. Um, my faves, I think we still have about 10 more questions. So I think for today, let us stop here <clears throat> and then we assess how this part one does and then we'll definitely do a part two. How is that? Because I wouldn't want to leave anyone's question out of um, this sit down. You understand? I want each and every question to be answered because you, you asked with love. I must also answer with love. So for today, I think that's it, my fave. My faves, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll definitely assess this video how, on how it does and we'll drop the part two of um, Q&A Get to Know Me session next week, Wednesday um, at 3 p.m. Thank you so much, my faves. This is me. This is your boy, Tabang Tseko. I am honored to have been to be sitting down with you guys and just opening up about my life. Hope I've inspired. Hope I've motivated. Hope I've touched that side of you that said, I am giving up. Don't give up, faith. I love you all so much.